Hey, how's it going, guys? JT Nickel from ETH Finance here on behalf of the moderator team. Uh, got some things I want to run past you, let you know what we're cooking, how things are happening. It's always fun to see when the price rallies like this. Uh, it's like the party is in the daily. And uh, I have a feeling that uh, we're going to have some good times in the daily uh, moving forward. So the first part of what I want to talk to you about is exactly that. I want you guys, if you're a desktop user, install Res, R-E-S. It's Reddit Enhancement Suite. It's a must-have for desktop experience. In fact, I think Reddit, for me, is uh, most enjoyed on a desktop because Reddit Enhancement Suite will allow you to tag and highlight individuals, and you can, you can uh, color code people if you want. Uh, you can put notes uh, personal notes on people. Maybe they have a link of something that you like that they shared. You can follow them. You can friend all kinds of stuff. So Reddit Enhancement Suite is a great, great tool for uh, uh, Reddit on uh, Chrome. I, I don't know if it's on Firefox or whatever, but our Brave browser works great on Brave. Um, and on that note, I've been using Res for, for a number of years. The moderators, however, we get another, we have another plugin that we use called Moderator Toolbox. And I just want to let you know, uh, there was somebody had brought up, mentioned signal to noise ratio, and uh, they feel like eFinance is pretty good for that. Let me tell you guys and lady, uh, we've been a sub for just over a year. August 18th every year is our, our uh, subreddit birthday. And we have since that inception we have people that have over a thousand comments on our subreddit they're regular contributors they're there every day in the daily most of the time or if not every other day and they really do contribute quite a bit there are people that you know they could they could post off to off topic stuff we all do i do um and so the, the reality is is that we we are a small sub and we have very close-knit members. And it's so cool because I've been tagging. Let me explain what I've been doing over the last week. Is I've been searching through using Moderator Toolbox and figuring out user histories, amount of uh, percentage of time spent on our sub versus the rest of Reddit. But then it can also kind of drill down other subreddits as well. And the amount of people that we have that are like uh, – ETH Finance, ETH, ETH Trader, uh, R Ethereum, and R ETH Staker is pretty good. And there's there's quite a few that go to R Cryptocurrency and some that go to R Bitcoin, Polkadot, you know, OMG and whatnot. So I think what it is, we got a lot of people that have Reddit, uh, sorry, crypto only accounts, which is probably not a bad idea. Um, I haven't figured out how to acknowledge those people for their time in the sub because they really do bring a lot of great information um, and i do have quite a few people both res tagged and moderator toolbox tagged that are developers there's a lot of developers that hang out in our subreddit too so uh, for those of you who might be new to eth finance this really is a pretty good room like the best room on reddit and i'm very biased obviously I think it's one of the best rooms on Reddit that you can find that has a daily discussion with very active, regular contributors. Not just that they've been with ETH Finance for a year. I'm saying they've been in, they've been in the crypto landscape for several years, some of, some of whom are developers. It's so neat because I have it set up to where the people that are considered long-term, uh, positive, active contributors uh, – they get a green tag and it lights up like Christmas, except for the red part. There's no hardly any of that. And so I'll see I'll see these people going back and forth in conversation. And it's not just like one off, you know, sentences. So these guys are putting in paragraphs of text. They're arguing with good logic and critical critical thinking and working through their opinions. And and uh, it's just it's super clean. Like there's not a lot of. There's not a lot of trolls that we have to worry about. I think everybody kind of has a good understanding of what's expected. And it's, it's going great. And so if you're a lurker and you've been in the, on the scene for a long time and you're worried about what my, my people might say or you're worried about your user history or whatever, you know, 
it it's it's one of those deals where maybe you want to make an account that's just dedicated to uh, crypto and start talking and start coming up with your original ideas this is how this thing blooms okay second thing i want to get into is the monthly developers thread the monthly developers thread is dead and it serves a purpose in the fact that the moderators can ask people to shill uh, or talk about their product and shill is not always a bad thing spam's a bad thing but sometimes you know developers need to get some advertising going and they don't want to get banned so we made the monthly developers thread so the community could look at things for themselves and it's been up to the developers to kind of put stuff in they stopped doing that why did they stop doing that probably because they felt like you know it takes a party to keep a party that's something i've always said you know you're not going to go to an empty bar and start the party okay you're just not going to go and so what i would like to do is uh, i'd like to find a couple of people <coughs> to take a look at this google sheet that i that i have put together and uh, unless there's a better way to do this what i what i've already done and i've gone back through several of the monthlies I'm trying to find all the teams and then what we can do is sift through those teams and then reach out to those teams and ask them in mass to come back for the November or maybe the December one. And then what I'd like to do is reach out to uh, Patricio from POAP and see if what his thoughts are on producing or finding an artist that wants to help us out. Uh, just a simple badge that they can earn every month for putting their card in the monthly developer thread. I don't want it to go away. It does serve a purpose and it does keep us from, it, it, you know, it gets, it gets, the, it's a place for developers to talk. And sadly, uh, what's happened is, is they don't want to shill because then they might be reported as spam in the daily. And we want to kind of keep the daily free of all that. But I feel like, man, if we could get 30 to 50 teams in there on the regular going for those po apps which i think would be astonishing you know that'd be really cool maybe somebody who's consistently been in there for the full year could get a you know a special one of a kind maybe there's a grant out there i don't know it's just an idea i've been spitballing and so uh, if you have any ideas i'd love to hear them third thing is uh eat staker and e-finance uh, my friend super fizz and i have been talking a little bit and how cool would it be to do like a uh a cross subreddit zoom chat or a kahoot game like a trivia night thing uh you know once every week or every other week just depending on schedules it, it could be very hard for me right now as a teacher um with gigs on the weekend to devote a ton of time to but i think it would be kind of fun and do uh, some kind of kahoot trivia night thing uh live either a live stream or a zoom thing if we can get more people in it or there's also uh, the other um is it jitsi is that the non-Zoom, like people are worried about China? All right. And so I think it's called Jitsi. We, we might look at that platform. I don't know. It's just some ideas. Anyway, I hope you're doing good. Um, I'm doing really good. It's kind of hard at, uh, at school with my mask on, and then every now and then i got to wear this, like, cone of shame, you know, like <laughs> a dog to – the face shield thing and i know a lot of you guys have to deal with the with everything but you know what wear your mask everybody stay safe have a good uh rest of uh 2020 if i don't make an update video and um yeah cheers and big hugs from Kansas city